Ferrari owners don't bring their cars to the neighborhood mechanic. The designers of this exotic car wrote detailed maintenance instructions. Just like with a Ferrari, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers doesn't just hand over a $14 billion flood protection system to the local levy board without detailed maintenance instructions. Every year between 1959 and 2004, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers gave the Orleans Levy Board a grade of outstanding in their levy maintenance. The levees and flood walls broke due to the Army Corps design errors, not bad maintenance. The Corps even testified in front of Congress, saying that they thought the Orleans Levy District was doing an outstanding job inspecting the levees. After Katrina and before any of the levy investigations were complete, the Army Corps of Engineers wrote new guidelines for local levy maintenance for every district in the nation. Maintenance inspections were more frequent, used modern technology, checklist, and provide for more uniform reporting. The Corps is required to grade the levy district's maintenance every year. So levies.org asked the Corps for the ratings of the Orleans Levy District's levy maintenance since Hurricane Katrina. We were surprised to find out that every year since 2005, the Corps gave the district a grade of minimally acceptable. We offered this surprise data to the New Orleans Times-Picayune. So now the big question is, how is this possible? By issuing these low ratings, we believe that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is attempting to shield itself from criticism should their flood walls fail again. And as far as maintenance inspections go, the Corps decides how they are to be done and when they are to be done. That's the way it is here, and that's the way it is all over the United States.